how to use Visual Studio Code for group work. Like most things Visual Studio Code, there's a degree of um, stress in the setup. So the first thing you got to do before you do any group work is you have to immediately open the folder of your project. And if I recall correctly, I've been saying that since the first week, so please don't forget, always open the folder of your project. So I've done that, and it's called test. So now I'm in the test project. All right, I'll just make this much bigger. There we go. So in your test project, there's probably some folders. There's could be your pro. This can be whatever kind of project you wanted it to be, whether that was um, um, your final project, whatever it is that you're working on as a team. So the first thing you have to double check is you have to go like this live share. Okay, now there's a bunch here. This one right here, you want to make sure it'll say install right here. Or if you're like me and you have it installed, it'll say uninstall. Now this feature, let me close this, <coughs> allows for chat, um, inviting people into your project. Um, and people ask me, uh, well, where is the so file saved? Whoever is the invite, uh, the invitee, they're the host for the project. So one of you will host the project at any given time when you're collaborating. Um, and that's that's just the way that is, right? So, so this shows you a bunch here. You can read through it if you want. Um, there's some more documentation and so on, but I try to try to get you through it as you know smoothly as I can. So, going back here. So of course uh, I need a file just to uh, get things going. It's index.html, and uh, you know I want to get something started there. So, <coughs> pardon me. Uh, I now click, um, I can start a collaboration session. See the, how I did that? Roger right here, because I'm signed in. So I can either join one, sign out. Uh, it was going to ask me to sign in if I was signed out. I guess I could do that. Um, let me see it now. So when you click it and you haven't ever signed in, you'll see this. You, as I said, if you have GitHub, you always want to sign into code related things with your GitHub. So you'll click that. And then you'll go here and you'll say authorize. And then they will ask you to open Visual Studio Code. Allow an extension to open this URL. Okay. And there you go. So, now I have the chat. It even says invitation link copy to the clipboard. I, I don't know why I always click copy. And now I can go to all of my uh, teammates into Teams. Let's pretend this is Teams so you can see it here. Uh, I would say, hey, Bob, this is the collaboration session for our pro final project. Uh, this is the link, I guess. And then I would drop that into there, and I would send, and then Bob would get it in his messaging app, whatever app it is. I mean, it doesn't have to be uh, Microsoft Teams. I'm just giving you an example that you can visualize here. Now, they'll come in here, and they'll show up on the left side. Um, there's lots of little... Uh, little things here. You'll see them as uh, participants, and then they'll become part of your contacts. Um, you can start audio. You can even share the terminal. So you can even share this section for those of you who are that advanced. Um, and the peer can type into the terminal just like, just like they're you. I don't recommend that one. Um, it could be a bit scary. Uh, what somebody can do to your computer by accident. So better, better if better if they they tell you what they want you to do. So yeah, these are all the different options. But this is the basic one, and, and this will look like the uh, Google Docs 
um, thing where you see a cursor here and a cursor there and a cursor everywhere based on however many people you're sharing with. Okay. Um, and yeah, just make sure it's always set up as save. They can, uh, you can create different files. You can make it so that they have to follow one cursor around. So if you're describing some code, let's say you went and you created a .html about page all on your own and then there's a lot of code, you're able to do it so that they follow you. All these things are tips and tricks and you can actually see who's signed in at that moment. Right now I have nobody because I'm making this tutorial. Okay, so this is how you do it. Good luck.